Introduction to Group Policy in Windows Server 2016 Group Policy is a simply the easiest way to reach out and configure computer and user settings on networks based on activity to me services. A group policy is a set of configuration settings that can be applied to users, computers or groups of users. Group policy object is a collection of group policy settings that we can apply to user and computer object within a site, domain or organizational unit. The settings may include things like password policies, account lockouts, software deployment and in general what the user can do in Windows. For example, do they have access to open Windows registry, open command prompt, what programs and application will they able to run etc. The group policy settings that we create are contained in a group policy object which is in turn associated with the selected activity containers such as sites, domains or OUs. So in Windows Server 2016, there are three type of GPUs are available. First is a local GPU, second domain GPUs and third one is a starter GPUs. All Windows operating system have support for local group policy objects sometimes known as LGPUs. Second is domain based GPUs also known as a non-local GPU. Non-local GPUs are created in Active Directory and are linked to sites, domain or OUs. After link to a container, the settings in the GPU are applied to all users and computers within the container by default. All GPUs are identified by their globally unique identifier which is a unique 128 bit number assigned when the GPU is first created. This number is stored as an attribute of the object and used to identify this GPU within the ADDS. The content of each non-local GPU is stored in two locations. First is GPC and second one is a GPT. Group policy container GPC is an act directory object that stores the property of the GPU. You can view GPCs in Active Directory users and computer snapping. So let's see where Active Directory actually store GPCs. First of all, I'm going to open Active Directory users and computer snapping by running command dsa.msc. In Active Directory users and computer snapping, first of all, I'm going to click on view and then I'm going to click on advanced features. Now expand system container and under system container, you will see one more container named policy. And this is the two GPCs which we are talking about. So this is the location where the actual GPC is stored under Active Directory Domain Services. Then second one is a group policy template. GPT is located in the policy subfolder of the syswall share. The GPT is folder that stores policy settings such as security settings and script files. Let's see the path to the default GPT structure for the two meet. Let's open command prompt first. At the command prompt, I'm going to type command net share and then I'm going to press enter key. Here you can see we have a one share folder named syswall. This is the share folder from where all domain computer account and domain controllers connect to the GPT folder structure to read the settings and the folder location is C colon slash windows syswall and syswall. So let's open this folder. Let's click on file explorer. Let's double click on C drive. Let's double click on Windows folder. Let's find syswall folder. For example, in a standard Windows installation for a domain named mylab.local, the path would be C, Windows, syswall, and then again syswall. And here you will find your domain name. In my case, that is mylab.local. And under mylab.local folder, you will see a folder name policies. Let's open the policies folder. Let's so double click on policies folder. And under policies, there are two folders corresponding to the default domain policies, named using the same GUID as those for the GPCs. Let's again open Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping and let's match the GPC and GPT's GUID. As you can see, the numbers are same for GPT and GPCs. Each GUID that refers to a policy in the GPT structure has a several subfolders and a gpt.inf file inside. So let's open this one 
And here you can see we have our one folder named machine, user and GPT. Let's double click on GPT file. Now this file contains the version and status information regarding the specific GPU. The version number is variable that starts at 0 when the GPU is first created and then it will increment by 1 each time it is modified. There will be a one more parameter name status that indicate whether a GPU is unable or disabled. Now let's uh, close this and uh, these subfolders contain more specific settings that are defined within the policy. Let's go back to group policy management console and let's expand our forest. Let's expand domain, expand domain name and expand group policy objects. Here we have a total two default policies. First one is a default domain controller policy and second one is default domain policy. The default domain controller policy GPU is linked to default domain controller OU. Okay into which ADDS place all the computer object representing domain controller. Therefore, all the domain controllers for the domain receive the settings in the GPU. The next one is default domain policy. The default domain policy is linked to your domain, so its settings are propagated to all users and computers throughout the entire domain. Let's create one more GPU. Let's right click on group policy object and select new you can specify any name as per your requirement so let me specify gpu1 and then click on ok button now here we have a one more gpu let's click on detail and this is the unique id of our group policy object named gpu1 now let's again go back to file explorer let's click on policies and here you can see we have a third gpt folder and this is the guid of that folder you can also find GPC under Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping. Let's click on Refresh. So there will be associated GPC in Active Directory to mean services. And now let's discuss third GPU type, that is Starter GPUs. Let's again come back to Group Policy Management Console. And here we have a Starter GPU. Starter GPU is a feature introduced in Windows Server 2008 first. A Starter GPU is a one kind of template for the creation of domain GPUs based on a standard collection of settings. When you create a new GPU from a starter GPU, all the policies in the starter GPU are automatically copied to the new GPU as its default settings. So this is all about group policy objects in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory Domain. In the next video, we will see how we can create and attach group policy object to particular OU, domain or site. Hope you like this video on basic introduction on group policy in Windows Survey 2016. Thank you all for watching this video.